Hello once again out there to all my satisfactory fans. Thank you for joining me for another episode of my forest project build. And this is the very first episode since update 6 has now been released to everyone. It's not just available in experimental. Now everyone has access to all the fun things that we've been kind of toying around with in experimental. So if you've been waiting to get your hands on that but you didn't want to play the experimental mode. Well, now's your chance. It came out a couple of days ago, and uh, this isn't going to be a very exciting video, I don't think. Uh, I don't have a whole lot of plan, really, that's going to be any any big, huge project today. Mostly, it's going to be a little bit of just kind of uh, finishing touches here on our building that we've been building. So, as you can see, we, we kind of finished this up a little bit as far as the exterior goes uh, in our last few episodes, building this starter factory, and I think it looks pretty snazzy, if I do say so myself, I very much, very much like how it came out, wasn't how I originally planned it, but, you know, plans change, and this one plan, well, there was some change for the better, I think, and I hope you guys agree with me on that, so, taking a look at a few things that got changed since the, uh, it came out from experimental into regular early access, they must have messed with the orientation, of the new foundation pieces like the half foundations because this wasn't like this before previously this was turned the opposite direction so it was flat up against this one to make this kind of center post here that holds up the arch to make it look wider and now it's got kind of this little gap here so it looks like they've just kind of changed the orientation so it, it switched it around backwards but I ain't gonna lie, that looks pretty good, if I do say so myself. I think it does. Uh, I could not have come up with that idea by myself, but now that I'm kind of seeing the little gap there, I very much like it. I, I think that could totally work, so I'm gonna kind of make that uh, the permanent addition to our factory. Now, I also see up here another thing that has been changed. So the orientation, like I said, on the half foundations have been changed because this is poking out of our kind of the side here of the building so i'm going to fix that off screen here in a little bit i'm also going to be adding our smelters back into our smelting wings today and something else i want to do is instead of having this right here the base of our smelters kind of coming down straight like it does much like the front of this building i think it would look much better if we take this and kind of have it fold back in on itself kind of like an angle uh, an inverted ramp, basically, if you will, all the way back down through there. I think that would look much better than this. It will also give me a little bit of room to play with uh, some trucks and stuff. So maybe I can have the trucks come from the coal down there, bring the coal up into here, and then with this kind of folding back in that way, I can have it go into the bottom of this building here. Yeah, I think that would look pretty good. The only thing is, it's going to kind of mess with the arch here. So, I got to figure that out. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. But, I will figure it out one way or another. That's what I'm kind of going to work on today. Is maybe we get vehicular transport working. Adding the smelters back in. So, yeah. Not, not that exciting of an episode. But, I did want to give an episode for you guys who have been patiently waiting for me. Um, I also want to say this. I want to give a huge shout out to everyone for all your awesome comments on my community vlog that i posted the other day about almost giving up on youtube and just quitting in general because of some of the rude comments and stuff and you know like i said in the video comments from all of you people who have been awesome is what keeps me going and you guys definitely showed the love on that video and i very very much appreciate it Thank you. I can't take the time. I, I, honestly, I don't even have the time to write back to each and every single one of you. But rest assured, I read every single comment, every word of every comment that you guys left. And it is highly appreciated. And I thank you so much for all of that. I really, really do. As I said, that is why I keep doing what I do because of the comments and stuff that you guys have been leaving. I'm, I'm obviously helping you with the how, to, the how to satisfactory. Some of you guys are enjoying that. The rest of you are just enjoying my comment. Um, the comments of, that you guys have made about my voice and everything and that you don't have a problem with it and, and every single bit of that is just awesome. I loved reading all of that. So thank you guys. All right, just wanted to get that out there. Because I know I haven't commented on anybody. I haven't replied to anybody. It's just been so... I've been overwhelmed, basically, with that. Um, 
also this wasn't really the video that I was kind of hoping to make I was really kind of going to make a how to satisfactory video showing off some of the new stuff for update 6 for that I still may do that uh, I don't know yet because there's already so many people out there who are doing videos about the update 6 stuff and things and at this point it's too late I was supposed to have Tuesday off but I ended up working so I just I haven't had time to sit down and officially record anything to try to get it out to you guys until like right now it's it's literally like 11 o'clock at night um, I have to work again tomorrow but a night shift and I just I'm gonna try to get this video done get it uploaded to you guys so it's like I said it's not gonna be that big of a video but I did want to get a video out to you so um, anyway I digress I've already went way into this video just kind of talking and not doing anything so let, let's get to work shall we now one more thing I think we're gonna try to get done in this episode is the entire building I think we're gonna extend it back further because I have an idea here in order instead of uh, how I had it before bringing the iron ore and all that and the copper ore up on the sides and bringing it into the wings that have the smelters and stuff in it I think what I'm gonna do is just extend this out over here have all of the ore come up into the middle and then go under all of this into our logistics wing kind of basically and then go uh, into the smelters somehow from there so maybe I'll send it down through those I don't really know exactly how I'm gonna do it just yet but I think I'm gonna use the logistics level and just have the ore come up through the middle I think that would be best instead of having I was never really happy with how we had the copper coming in over here I just did not like that it was messing with my OCD-ness of having everything kind of straight <laughs> so uh, yeah I think what we're gonna do is just kinda fix it that way so that's probably what I'm gonna do first right now actually actually I believe first we're gonna run down here to our quartz crystals down here we're gonna grab some of these cuz I think I'm gonna upgrade get the blade runners and a few other things real quick so let me grab some quartz out of here all right, and let's check our mam here and see what we need. Let's see, quartz. Quartz is going to give me blade runners. It's going to get me the shatter rebars, uh, crystal oscillators. I can also get the inflated pocket dimension here too, which let's do that one first because I'm going to need a little bit of, uh, looks like silica for that. And I'm going to need some more. Well, I can do this one right now because I have everything I need for that. So let's do that one. That's only a couple of seconds and we are done with that. Okay, so we got the blade runners we can make now. And let me go make some silica real quick so we can grab the um, extra space, extra inventory. All right, I got everything I need for that, so let's go ahead and research that. There we go. Extra six slots in my inventory is always good to have. Boom. All right, that's much better. Looking at our sofa, no, we haven't really done anything in a sofa yet, but I do have a little bit of sofa. Let's see if there's anything else. Um, I could also do the yellow power shards as well since I think I do have a couple yellow slugs and let's see you know I haven't gotten any barrel nuts yet to unlock that we need to do that and let's see if there's anything else down here um igneum protein and steel Ooh, that requires like 500 for the expanded tool belt that's a lot um hostile organism detection rebar gun uh, I could do that. I just need some screws, looks like. Oh, but I gotta get this first, the structural analysis. Uh, I could do that real quick, actually. Alright, I think I got what I need. Let me check in here. First, let's do sofa. Alright, sofa 10 out of 21. That's about as far as I can take it. I don't have anything else to do with that. But we will unlock, start to unlock this chain down through here. Alright, yeah, gonna need a lot more stuff for that. So that's the end of that. Uh, we're finished here. I forgot to grab my yellow power slugs. But under alien organisms, I do believe... Or was it nutrients? Uh, ah, yes, it was alien organisms. Uh, structural analysis. Let's go ahead and get that, which unlocks the rebar gun. There we go. All right, so we can now make the re... Well, we can't make it until we finish that, but I just need like 500 screws. I should have some five... I should have 500 screws somewhere. All right, so I grabbed my power slugs. Let's get that one done real quick. That's going to give us a few more power shards we can make because I got a total of four of those guys. And anything else real quick here? Yes, there actually is one last thing, the rebar gun. All right, so we'll go ahead. I've got the screws now for that, so we'll go ahead and start the research on that. And... 
There we go. All right, now we can make that, which I'm going to go over here and immediately do. All right, and then we're also going to make some ammo for that. All right, so I made about 100 of the rebar ammo. Let's go ahead and equip that real quick here. There we go. I love the little animations when you first start to use it, uh, like a new tool or something. It's just so fun to watch your, your pioneer play around with it, especially the chainsaw and some of the other ones. All right, so let's holster that. We're going to go up here and let's get started on expanding this building outwards. First of all, I'll just delete everything we got right here. And I'm going to take this and I'm just going to run that with Zoop as far as that can go. And just continue that all the way down through here. All right, so one thought I sort of had with this, where this tree kind of sticks up right here, I kind of thought about maybe making a little garden area, like taking out the foundation here, putting in one of those new quarter circle foundations. I don't think they actually released those with the uh, with this update, though. I think they're going to be adding those back in later because there were some issues with them, and they didn't get them fixed in time. So I think all we got was the the half foundations. Um, I don't know. Maybe they did give us the quarter. I I can't remember. But anyway, uh, so those, I kind of thought about maybe going around this with that. But where everything is kind of off-centered here, I don't think it's going to work. So I'm probably just going to end up cutting down these trees right here anyway. But I do think it would have been kind of neat to have a little garden area right inside the starter factory. Just kind of like a little peaceful zen area. Then again, who really needs that? Now the top layer isn't the only one that's getting expanded out. I'm also going to do the bottom layer down here, which is what I pretty much call my logistics layer here. Alright, so I've expanded this out pretty far. Not exactly sure how far I'm going to go out with it even further from this, but I think I may try to make it go even further out this way. Because I've got a lot of area here to kind of cover, and it would be kind of cool to have uh, maybe a ramp going from the main platform here down to where our quartz crystal are. And then also I can put a ramp going up this way to that. I kind of have one now, but we'll just connect it onto this and then run it up to the space elevator. In fact, I may actually just end up moving a space elevator down here into this section. That's also a possibility. All right, so now to bring our ore in, I've turned one of our miners already kind of this way. So I kind of have a working area, an idea of where the line's gonna go. It looks like right down through here. And I know that the middle one is right here. So let's see, right here is kind of where I want to do this. So I'm going to go into logistics and we're going to grab a conveyor lift floor hole. I'm going to put it right there on that side. Another one right there on this side. So this one is going to be for the iron and this one's going to be for the copper. Now I'm kind of thinking maybe I need two. Yeah, I may, I may go do something like that. And then I might bring another one over here on this side, just in case I need it. And yes, I do realize that I do have the, uh, the hub here in a way. So I'm going to have to move the hub here sooner or later. All right, so let's bring this down here, like that. How far can I get that down? Eh, that's probably working. That, that'll probably work. Yeah. Let's actually bring another one down right here, like that. And let's use this one here for that one. And then this one will run into this one. All right, and then I'll just bring the conveyor belts down. I kind of eyeball this and make it look about as straight as I possibly can here. All right, so I got both miners now placed. We've got our conveyor belts in. The iron is going up to the logistics floor. So next we just have to run all this and then figure out how we're gonna get the iron down to the smelters. Now here on the logistics floor, I have our conveyor lifts in on top of the conveyor holes there now. So I'm just gonna move some belts down this way. Kind of make these straight as can be. To right about here where it starts to go into this. Now I'm not too concerned about this floor because once this floor is done, nobody's gonna be seeing this down here. So, I mean, I'll know what's down here, but I can live with this. All right, so I sort of have a huge hurdle in how to get the ore from here down to there. But I've been working it out and I think I figured out a way. So what I'm gonna do is I've kind of cleared out this mess that I had in here and made this a little bit better here. So previously, this kind of came out over here on this side 
and then went around into the input here. So what I've done is just kind of push this over here by placing these uh, mergers right here, right up against the lifts. That actually gave me a much better option here and cleared out a path down through here. So I can now run these lines just by, I'll just curve them around and then bring them down straight down this way to all the way down here where then it's a matter of figuring out how to get them down to that. So what I'm thinking about doing is previously I had this kind of coming up in the middle, right in here. So I think I'm going to do one on this side and one on this side. I think that's probably the best way to do that. And then I'm going to have to figure out, let's see. So this is going to have to come in this way because it has to run up that direction down there. There are all four of those. So these are going to have to come down through here here yes okay and yeah so one will come down through here and go down on this side basically what I'm trying not to do is cross the conveyor belts because that's I definitely don't want to do that because it just looks bad and I don't like it even though nobody's gonna see down here under this mess I will know and therefore it's just kind of one of those things that I I can't cross the the conveyor belts it just, I just want it to look good so it has to come up here and go that way and then this one's going to come down and go in this way the other one will come down and go that way now the other one actually might run into a even bigger problem trying to figure that one out but for now at least i know this one and then once it gets down to this side then i have to figure out how to get it into the smelters so i have a logistics floor underneath of that one so that shouldn't be an issue we can figure that out once we get these done but Let's go ahead and run these lines down through here. Okay, yeah, definitely something like this. So this line is going to keep on going down that way, and I'll figure that one out in a moment. But this one here, yeah. So this one comes down, goes in here, and then I'm going to have it go down to that direction down there. So, yeah. I think that'll work. All right. You kind of slide underneath it here like that. And then I'm going to bring this so that the input coming up from the smelters it's going to go to right about there and I'll just take that back like that and let's see is that gonna work yeah that should work right there all right so now down here at the bottom where the smelters are gonna be I you can see I have now removed the walls here and this piece of foundation right here and I've put in two foundation holes right here conveyor holes so this is the plan for now what we're gonna do is bring this up like that okay I gotta reverse these so it's going to do an input and then I'll just put them something like that I think will work fine and then I'll do this one the same way put it up like that and then it's a matter of just connecting these two here so again should not be a problem I can put this back right there okay and then let's see if I remove that piece there and I may need to remove that piece and that piece so I can kind of see what I'm doing here actually a lot of this probably there we go all right now let me get up on top of this here all right so one small mistake I kind of made here was I need to reverse one of these so this one has to be a different direction so what I'll do is let me drop back down here re-engineer this so we just kind of take this bring that up now this one does need to be a output right here. So that one has to go like that. Yeah, that is correct. Okay. Now I'll put this foundation back in here, jump up on top of this, and let's see, now that should be yeah, output, and then jump up to here. That should be correct now. Yes, perfect. And then this will be the input coming from this line. All right, so the ore is coming down this way into that, and the ingots will come back up this way and go in and then go to the machines up there, and that will be just fine. So I'll just put these back now. All right, there we go. And then let's just paint those back black so that matches. And then let's paint those walls back to the teal that we have. That's good. All right, and then that will be just fine, actually yes all right so now we just got to get these smelters in here so this is kind of what I'm thinking for that let's go to production and grab our smelters and I'm gonna start with this one right here and I'm gonna put it like right on that line right there but I want it to be 
Yes, something like this. Not quite all the way back, but maybe a little bit, because we do need to leave a little bit of space for some lines that have to run. So we'll do that, and then I'll just put them right next to each other like this. We'll do four on this side. We'll come down here, do the exact same thing. We'll find that middle point, which I believe is right here. And I, I think I moved it forward one. Is it one or two? Looks like two. And we'll try that again. So, let's see. There? No, I think one more. Yeah, that's right. All right. There we go. Now we have our smelters in here. All right. And next is just connecting these up. So the inputs are on which side here? Inputs are on this side. All right, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to connect a conveyor lift to these with it facing down and then outward this way, like that. And then we're going to drop down here to this section here. All right. And let me grab a conveyor lift here, and I'll connect that like that. And this one like this. There we go. All right, so this is the output. It needs to go into those. This needs to come around to here, go in. I think I can work this. All right, so I'll take this, bring this around. So we're coming right down the middle here. I'll bring it to the, not quite the line, but almost the line. Let's see. Yeah, and then back to that way I can turn this, bring it down this way. There we go. All right, and then we're going to put in some splitters down through here. Connect up our lines to all of them like so. Finish all that off. Come down here. Run this into that. Uh, yeah, I think that actually is going to work just fine. Now for the output. So, we'll take conveyor lifts once again. We'll bring these down and I'll face them. Uh, I'm going to face them backwards like this actually. Mm. Yeah, that's actually probably the best way to do it. So we'll do that, inwards, inwards, and inwards, drop back down into our hole. All right, and these, I think we're going to use mergers here on these. So I'll put these in line like that. There we go. And then we will then connect these up like so. Finishing that up. Did, wait, did I run out? Oh, that one's just not right. That's the problem there. All right, so I'll take that back out. Grab one of these. Put this in there where it's correct. And then connect. Perfect. And then we'll bring this down. Actually, I'm going to bring this this way. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, that works. So right to there. We'll turn this. Bring it down here and in. There we go. All right, so it comes around with the ore, goes up into the machines, which then make the ingots. The ingots then come down through here, come this way, and up into our constructors up there. I like it. I think it works. We're going to go with it. Coming down on this side over here, though, that is going to be the major problem because this support structure here, this arch, is coming up right in the middle where these are. So... Not 100% sure how we're going to do this. So once again, I've encountered another hurdle that I'm going to have to figure out how to solve. And this is one of the reasons I like Satisfactory is little puzzles like this. It's trying to just run conveyor belts and things like this. It's Granted, it's puzzles I make myself, but then I have to solve said puzzles. So it's just kind of, this is what's fun to me. So I think I have an idea. First of all, I'm going to turn all of the inputs going into our constructors on this side the opposite direction of what I had them like this so they're coming in that way okay let's try that then I'm gonna bring the conveyor belt with the ore down like so turn it and then we're going to hmm, it's gonna be tricky let's see if I do that something like here and then turn it that way so it's running down that way Okay, and then I bring it down through here, 
to right there and then back to and then in will that work I, I think this might actually do it so we're running all the way against the edge so let me set a conveyor pole right here because then what we're gonna do is basically kind of reverse what we did on the other one here a little bit so I will then bring this this way we'll bring it around and then turn it like that okay and then from here we take splitters and run them all the way up through there will that work I don't know we're gonna find out all right and then run that conveyor belt into that connect that all right and then I gotta get over here to the other side so I can work all right so I'll connect that to that there and one more here like so and then that's just a matter of connecting the belts up uh, uh oh need more reinforced plates all right, so we'll run that to that that to that connect those two and those two that to that and last connection there we go okay that works now back down there to the smelters put our foundation holes in like that okay and then run these up all right so I need to think about this for a second so this side's gonna be the input going or at least the ones going up so this is gonna be ingots going up on this side so yes I want that to be something like that and then this one is going to be the coming down so the ore will be coming down this way so I'll put that up to that and then hit R to reverse that like so put our foundation back and then we'll just take out the pieces that we need here to run those up all right, so that should go into that. Well, actually, I need to bring this out to the edge here just a little bit. So, there we go. All right, we'll run that to that. Is that crooked? You know what? It is crooked, but it's fine. All right, and then we'll run that up to that. Or is it? You know, I can't tell if it is or not. I think it is, but it's fine. Like I said, we're going to cover this back up, so it, it'll work. Do some quick painting, and there we go. Next, I'll put the outputs going that way, same as I did down here, and I've already got these in there like that. All right, let's drop deck down here, like so. Go over here, we will bring these down, so that's the output there. And input over here. Okay, so that needs to go up that way. All right, so what I'm kind of thinking here is we'll do the same thing. Just in reverse, so we'll just bring that down here, like so. And we'll just put these in there, each one in line. Once again, connect our belts. We will bring this down to the same way we had it here. So back to, that will work. And over, that should connect straight into that. Fantastic, all right. Throw some mergers in here. Connect those up. And then bring this around until it goes right into there. I like it. I think this will work. For power, I've temporarily ran the cables up to the edge of the ceiling right up there. And all of those run in there. They all connect down, come down this way to a double power outlet right there. So next I just got to connect this to a main outlet somewhere. Right, so I think what I'm going to do is run it from there to here and then from there up to this temporarily anyway. All right, so that should get those smelters going down there now as long as we have power. I'll have to check and make sure we got fuel in there. Uh, and then at some point in the future, we're going to have to do a complete rework of the power cables and all of this once we get the ceilings and a, a few more things out of the shop. All right, now for my next part of my little redesign here, I'm going to take all of these out down through here like so all of this and just pretty much all these walls down through here just clear this out I'm gonna place one of these like that and take an inverted ramp and push it down like that and then we'll zoop that back like so and then just keep repeating this on all of these and then we'll come in between each one of these and take that back like that I believe yes yeah we'll totally do that like that and like that there we go 
All right, so yeah, minus this little section right here, uh, I'm gonna need to get some inverted, like the ramped walls, I think, to kind of go up through here and cover this up and make it look a lot nicer, uh, to make everything kind of work better together. But other than that, I really like that. I think that works much better than the straight down, like I have the middle piece right here. Looks like it more kind of like juts out, which is a lot what I'm kind of looking for. Also, it leaves space here for the road, uh, as you can kind of see, which comes up through here. Maybe I can do something where I can put the trucks kind of come up through here, like I said, go up through here, and then go into our main factory with coal. We can mix it with some iron, and then we can make steel on this level here. It's kind of what I'm thinking. Just depends on what we have to work with, because I do know that if I take out this wall here and just kind of walk in here oh, not there but here so if we go in here I do have a bunch of a problem in here there's not a lot of space to work with on this level so I gotta figure that out but I think I might be able to work with something in here just gonna take a little bit of imagination and creativity but I believe I can work it in now let's go over here to the other side and we will just kind of rework this over here as well and get this working even better all right, so as you can see, I've been doing a little bit of non-recorded work here, a little bit of off-screen design, and I've kind of matched this side up for the other one. I've also went in, we've got the smelters already inside of the building on this side. Pretty much copied what I did on the other side, just to this side. So I didn't see any use in actually recording that and showing you guys how I did it. The only difference is that these are turned the opposite direction of what the other side is. So I'm gonna see which way I like better i think this works because of how these smelters and stuff are kind of shaped and where this side is taller than this side and then uh, the same thing on the smelters where this side is taller i think this actually works a little better but then if we go over to the other side here real quick let me just jump over and i've also been doing some coloring work too just kind of uh playing around with some colors seeing what works for me uh so with this side with the kind of higher points of the smelters in the front what I could maybe do is maybe put more in the back back here so I can make like another level or something back here and then just kind of have them work that way um, it's kind of hard I guess to describe but maybe I might play around with that and do something in the future all right so anywho uh, like I said I've been playing around with some colors not sure I like the blue I mean I do like the blue but I don't know if I'm gonna go with this I'm kind of thinking of maybe going with a more of a green, maybe like a forest green instead of a teal for the machines. Since this is the you know in a forest build, kind of might keep everything to the theme. I've also expanded this platform out quite a bit more, and I've moved the hub up here too. Not sure if this is where the hub is going to stay, as I will probably just keep moving this out a little bit more. Maybe do something with the uh, the concrete over here as well. Plus, like I said, it'd be kind of cool if I could have, like, maybe bring this out so far that we could get a ramp to go down to where the quartz is. And then, I don't know, maybe bring the quartz up into this factory, too. One thing I'm trying to avoid is turning this into a factory that is just all-encompassing, like I have in my past builds. Um, I would really like this to just be a starter factory more than anything, just kind of a basic one. And then I'm going to move over into the crater fields, which are over that direction, past those little mountains over there, past the cliffs. And we're going to do more kind of uh, factories and stuff over there as well. Um, I've got plans for that. Uh, another thing I have done is I have encompassed both of the mines here for the copper down through here we've got the lines running in and i've moved the lines into here as well so instead of being in the middle they are more on the side over here as you can see and i think that works better with what i ended up doing down here because what my plan is is i think i want to add some storage up top so i'm going to need a way to get the pieces that i'm making down there back this way and then up let me go back up above us here up here because i'm kind of thinking maybe this area here since i'm making this building so long i'm kind of thinking you know maybe we can put some storage units and stuff down through here and that way everything that's moving in here will go into storage bins and then yeah that way i can have access to that and it fills up the area here 
Um, another thought is possibly moving some of these machines here. So one thing I've got an issue with down here is where these are coming down underneath of it. Trying to get the pieces back that these are making into this direction and I've got belts that are gonna it's gonna cross over belts underneath there it's kinda hard to explain without seeing it but I don't wanna go all the way back over there and back under to kinda show you um, we'll talk more about that when I actually get into adding more to the factory for now though I think my next plan is definitely going to be getting coal power um, we've got all this kinda built out I'm very happy with the design that we have here especially on the front I do think it's a little longer than what I was kind of thinking, um, but yeah, I, I feel like once I get maybe some windows and stuff in here, which I think I have an idea now for some windows, uh, maybe kind of have them go up over top and then come back down, do some funky shapes with some you know, angled wall pieces and stuff. Yeah, I think that might actually look good. Not something I'm going to do today though, as I am running out of time. Uh, but I do need to get the coal kind of power and stuff going here. So that will probably be the next video I do here. Um, I've also got to do another How to Satisfactory video. Actually, I think I'm going to work on two more How to Satisfactory videos before I come back to the forest build here and get those done. I also want to get some Planet Coaster stuff out of my channel as well because that's where I started at. And I do still enjoy the game. I haven't left it. And I do plan on going back to that and doing some more. Um, but yeah. Alright, so I guess that's going to do it for this video. Again, I do want to say thank you everybody for all the comments you have been leaving on my videos. It is very much appreciated. Also, I picked up two new Patreons as well. So I want to give a huge shout out to Sod. Uh, for his Patreon, and I also want to give uh, an even bigger shout out to Dudley Bean. Thank you so much, both of you guys, uh, especially you, Dudley, for you've gone above and beyond my top tier Patreon. So I'm going to have to work in something there to, to show my appreciation for that into some future videos. So expect the outros to probably change on my future videos for Patreons and stuff. Uh, and again, Patreon's not required, guys. Like, seriously, you don't have to do that. Um, if you feel like you want to, to show your support to the channel, and that's something you want to do, then by all means do so. But I, I don't, I, I try not to ask for it or anything like that. I try not to make it a big part of what my channel is. It's just asking for donations and stuff. Because, honestly, I just create this stuff just to have fun. And I, I like, I guess I like the fanship is that a word? I don't know. But I think I like I prefer that, like being famous more than the money. I mean, yeah, the money helps, especially for like, you know, uh, going towards trying to get a house here in the future where I can actually create my own studio and stuff. So that definitely helps out quite a bit. Uh, but honestly, it's it's more about just people enjoying the things that I make and you know having my name kind of out there and and people who to know me to to leave a legacy i guess is is kind of the thing that i'm hoping to do more than anything you know so that once i'm dead and gone you know people may remember me you know something like that that's kind of what I, i'm more or less leaning towards and, and what i feel like i want to make my channel so not just a money grab channel and and putting things behind paywalls or anything like that it's, it's really just, you know, just to leave a legacy. All right, guys. So, again, thank you so much to my two new Patreons, especially you, Dudley. Thank you so much, man. Um, I am going to head out of here. I will see you guys in the next video. Uh, I'm heading to Gatlinburg again to the Smoky Mountains again this weekend. And uh, looking forward to that. So a little bit of a vacation, and then I'll come back stronger and and more rested and stuff because i've been working my ass off but until then i'm out of here wherever you guys are in the world good morning good afternoon good evening and good night see you in the next video